drop day number three, January 5th. We will have five beers releasing. Got a couple of old bangers, a couple of new friends, new beers, new years. Am I right? All five beers are going to be delicious. You should come hang out with us. Ho, ho, ho. Why is Christmas? I know you're seeing this after Christmas, but I already committed to the bit, so just run with it. Why is there a fat man in a red suit at the North Pole chilling with reindeer on a pagan winter solstice holiday and also midnight mass? Because we need reasons to hang out. You thought I was going to have a complicated answer about Christmas. I understand that. But no, keep it simple, stupid. We need holidays to create social space. We are going to have five beers so fresh that I don't have the cans to show you yet. Sonnets to Morpheus Double IPA, Language Creates Reality IPA, Joy Delivery System IPA, Straight to Video, Schwartz Beer, and Timeless on 12 Barley Wine. All very, very delicious. Sonnets to Morpheus is the double IPA version of Mandela Effect, and neither of those beers have anything to do with Keanu. Sonnets is named after a poem by Portland University professor named, and this is true, John Beer. The name is very on the head, and so too must be the beer. Uh, Sonnets is made with heaping helpings of both Citra and Centennial Maximum peach, mango, and weed character. Super delicious. You are going to love it. Social space is not physical space. It's the context for hanging out. The kitchen and the living room are social space, as is the metaphorical water cooler at work, and perhaps most pertinent to this video, so are holidays. Now, the context for hanging out might sound like nothing. Like, I don't need a reason to hang out, but you do. Appropriate social context allows us to slip in and out of a conversation without worrying about the timeline or the outcome. You know, if you see somebody at the grocery store, it's nice to talk to them, but on some level you're aware that you are taking time out of their to-do list. If you bump into someone at the ER, that is not an invite to catch up. On a more existential level, uh, Americans are so permeated with the idea of always being productive that slowing down to connect with people can feel like wasting time. We're just go, 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 achieve, achieve, achieve. The hustle and bustle is just the water we swim in. We don't see it. Hanging out for hanging out's sake can feel like wasting time. Holidays are a great way to break that up. Language Creates Reality is a riff on the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis, a real golden oldie of the linguistics field, which states that the way we talk about things changes the way we perceive them. Classic example, whether you call it a fan or a blower determines whether you use it to move air away from you or towards you, despite the fact that the object is exactly the same delve a little bit deeper and the way we talk about concepts like time or gender really impacts how we perceive those things. Raquel Nelson Savin and Tahiki Hops will determine that you think this thialized IPA is delicious. I love thialized yeast. I cannot get enough of the pink starburst thing going on in this beer and I love, love, love the pog flavor. You will enjoy it. Come have some. Holidays are a giant societal hall pass to waste time doing nothing by which i mean hanging out with the people we love the most or making new friends it fully should go without saying that connecting with the people you care about the most is an important part of human existence but it does seem to need saying every american holiday is fraught in one way or another but the reason we have holidays and the celebrations that go along with them is that everybody on some level is fundamentally aware that we need some number of days a year to kick it with the homies. In his painfully well-documented survey of American social capital, Bowling Alone, Robert Putnam documented a decrease in metrics of social engagement across American society. He used bowling as a metaphor to demonstrate this. Although the number of people who bowl had increased over the last 20 years, the number of people who bowled in a league had decreased. Thusly, people were not participating in the social interactions and civic discussions that might could happen in a league context. It's not just that we need to kick it with the homies for social connection. 
it's that not kicking it with the homies actively degrades the social bonds that allow society to function. I swear to God, I'm not just going to talk about how the internet was a mistake in every single one of these videos, but the internet was a mistake. Bowling Alone was published in the year 2000, and since then, both social media and the pandemic have pushed people further away from physical social space and overwhelmingly replaced that with the mediated interactions of the internet. In writing this, I realized I'm totally glossing over the differences between mediated social interactions and in-person social interactions and how that impacts us in our life in the meat space on a daily basis. So rather than totally explode the runtime of this video, I will just promise you that I have more nuanced opinions than Zoom meeting bad. And in fact, I will at some point make a video about how the internet was a mistake. Joy Delivery System is one of those beers, like Stoked, that we named to remind ourselves of why we do this. Beer should be a joy delivery system. Taste beer, experience joy. That's kind of the whole game. Mosaic, Eldorado, and Cardinal shine brilliantly upon a field of well-loved flavors. Grapefruit and pine, but also pineapple and geranium. What magnificence, what beauty, what joy. Thankfully, we have all these holidays built in to allow us to create social space. Don't let the suit fool you, I'm more of a Thanksgiving guy, but I understand why my indigenous friends are not. The Veterans Day Parade here in town is rad, but I understand why my veteran friends feel a little conflicted about it. Uh, all of the big holidays are tough for people who don't have good relationships with their family or don't have any family at all. All holidays carry baggage. Good thing beer doesn't have any baggage, as it is illegal for me to tell you about any of the health benefits, mental or physical, of drinking beer. No, really, it's illegal. Let me just tell you there are no health benefits to consuming alcohol at all. At all just been making beer and wine for 10,000 years for the love of the game. Drinking rituals though, those rip. Cheersing, toasting, buying rounds, all of these are ways in which we create social space around sharing a beverage. And breweries, at their heart, are that. That's what they do best. They're machines that create social connection. The apparatuses of chilling, the contraptions of kicking it. The rules of cheersing, as I understand them, are clink, eye contact, tap the bar, zip. It doesn't matter if you agree with those rules, it matters that you know there are rules for cheersing. Am I the only one who gives a shit about the rules? It's a big Lebowski joke. If you're watching this, you're a millennial or a Gen X suit, you have to think that's hilarious. Straight to Video is a Schwartz beer. A black lager. It's draft only, no cans. You gotta come to the tasting rooms to get it, so it's a little bit elusive. That works because Schwartz beer as a style is a little bit elusive, both in that no one makes them and also that it's a really hard flavor profile to strike. It's black lager, so you wanna have those dark, rich flavors in there a little bit of roast, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of burnt. Uh, but it's also a German lager, so it should be clean and concise and very easy drinking. Straight to Video nails that flavor profile to a T. It is amazing. You should come drink it. The point is, we create our own social space. Some of our social monoliths, for instance, Christmas, create that social space for us. But holidays are just like a social construct, man. But the need for connection is a human basic. And regardless of culture, we're going to invent reasons to create social space and come together. The thing I love most about beer is it's something to do with your hands while you're talking to people. Beer in and of itself is social space. From German beer halls to the 10,000 breweries in the United States to every single bowling alley in the world, Beer spaces are social spaces, and they're spaces where we all agree we're going to perform the correct rituals, we're going to be a little bit chattier, we're going to talk to some strangers, we're going to kick it with the homies. Do you remember when barley wine used to be cool? When I was a young brewerman, there was in fact a festival in which people would travel from miles around to come taste like 30 different barley wines. It was one of the two anchor events of San Francisco Beer Week. 
lol. Those days are over. Not going to stop us. Timeless on 12 Barley Wine. We took our 10th anniversary barley wine made entirely with California grown Admiral Malt and put it in whiskey barrels that had held local whiskey made with California grown Admiral Malt. And we've been aging it for two years. It is delicious. If you are a normal human being in 2023 and you have no use for barley wine because you drink IPA and lager, no harm, no foul, uh, it'll be here. The barley wine will be aging wonderfully like fine barley wine. And this delicious toffee, almond, and caramel flavor bomb will be waiting for you when you get to be as old as I am. Our highest aspiration in making beer is that our beers are something that will connect you to another human being, give you something to talk to them about. Like, hey, have you tried this? It's delicious. Part of the reason we put a crazy amount of work into the label art and the stories on our cans is that we want our beers to be fun even if you don't drink. As someone who always brings conspiracy beers to parties, trust me, if you keep doing that, people will want to talk to you about them. Life is generally pretty rough, and beer should be something that makes your social connections a little richer and a little bit happier. Beyond just the beer, this is literally why we're doing Drop Day, is to create social space and invite you to come on down and hang out with people over beers. It's a hen house holiday. 12 hen house holidays a year. We hope you had a wonderful Christmas, and if Christmas is not your jam, come hang out with us. Have a beer. These drop day videos doing it for you. Like and subscribe. For real though, uh, we're really excited about how these are doing. People seem very excited uh, to be part of the discussion and the drop day is a super, super fun event for us. So if you're enjoying this, if you're enjoying the beer, please come down to drop day, have a good time, hang out with the team. Drop day is hella tight.